Far to the east, over ranges and rivers, lies a single solitary peak. The dwarves are determined to reclaim their homeland. I like visitors as much as the next hobbit. But I do like to know them before they come. Visiting. Mr. Baggins? At your service. Hmm? <laughs> I'm surrounded by dwarves. What are they doing here? Oh, they're quite a merry gathering. <laughs> so, this is the Hobbit. You asked me to find the 14th member of this company, and I have chosen Mr. Baggins. Me? No, 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 no. Hobbits can pass unseen by most if they choose, which gives us a distinct advantage. We will seize this chance to take back Erebor. Yeah. Here, Mr. Bilbo, where are you off to? I'm going on an adventure. Mithrandir, why the halfling? Why Bilbo Baggins? Perhaps it is because I'm afraid. And it gives me courage. So this is your purpose, to enter the mountain? What of it? There are some who would not deem it wise. A dark part has found a way back into the world. Why don't we have a game of riddles? And if it loses, what then? Well, it loses precious thing, we eat it. If Baggins loses, we eat it whole. Fair enough. I will take each and every one of these dwarves over the mightiest army. Loyalty, honor, a willing heart. I can ask no more than that. Home is now behind you. The world is ahead. Give him the contract. You shall not be liable for injuries, including but not limited to incineration. Well, that would be a reference to Smaug the Terrible. You'll melt the flesh off your bones in the blink of an eye. You're right, laddie. <laughs> nope.